Hello? Yes. Good afternoon, ma'am. Hi. Hi, Shweta. Good afternoon. Hi. You are very sweet, very pretty. You've got a very sweet voice. Yes. Thank you, ma'am. Am I audible? Yes, you are very audible, loud and clear. Do we have a lag? Do we have a lag issue? Yes, yes. Um, there is a gap between voice and video. How are you, Shweta? How was your day? Yeah, I'm fine. And the day is also uh, till now going well. And after like uh, taking sessions, I'm feeling happy. <laughs> <laughs> How many sessions have you taken already? Uh, till now, I have completed three sessions and this is my fourth session. Oh, wow. And how has it been for you? How was the yeah, journey so far? Yeah, it's a wonderful experience. <laughs> like, I know practice is the main key to improve my English. But, you know, uh, like, uh, uh, till now, I have practiced on call uh, to talk with someone in English. But uh, it's a one-to-one -one, uh, classes. So, I feel, uh, um, I'm feeling a different type of experience. <laughs> <laughs> and tutors are really so like great, uh, and and they not only uh, I can talk uh, with them, I uh, understand my, my mistakes where I uh, have to work on. Okay, okay. I have two questions for you. That's one. It's great to know that you are having a good time here. So my first question to you is: Would you like to receive feedback during the session or towards the end? Uh, at the end, because uh, what happens when we talk, the uh, whole focus is uh, towards the topic uh, rather than like how we communicate and what uh, uh, type of sentence frame, uh, I'm framing. And you know, when you give feedback in between, uh, like uh, focus uh, converts towards my uh, calls. And you know, whenever I, uh, it happens with everyone. When you do mistakes, we started feeling low. So um, then uh, what, whatever I am going to express in uh, further conversation, uh, I am unable to express myself with my full effort. So I would <laughs> yeah. like to take feedback at the end of the session. Okay. And my second question to you is that would you like to talk about session document or do you want to talk about random things? Whatever you like, ma'am, because uh, like, see, I am here to improve my English. That means I, I have to prepare myself in such a way that I need to prepare to talk with any topic, whether it's a given and uh, like uh, in front of you or a, it's a, a, any topic you need to speak like your mother. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. So... I see that you are very, I see you like to communicate. Is that so? You really enjoy talking to people? Is yes. that so? Huh? Yeah, yeah. Oh. I'm a very talkative person. I love talking. <laughs> I thought so. You uh, you also remind. So I have an aunt. Okay. And she she's older. She's older. But she, she also has a similar okay. personality. And I, as, as I'm talking okay. to you, I'm Remembering her that I'm probably going to call her after this and I'm going to tell her that I met a, I met a learner who spoke just like you and the session <laughs> automatically became lively. So I'm like, okay, this is going to be a okay. fun one. Do you enjoy movies by any chance? Uh, yes, I enjoy, uh, especially uh, the movie which gives any type of lesson for your life betterment. There are lots of movies, uh, like Dangal is one of uh, them, um, uh, how we should uh, gain success. And uh, there are lots of uh, three idiots. Uh, this type of movie I like to watch. And romantic <laughs> movies, DDLJ, <laughs> the was so famous movie. Everyone, uh, I guess, uh, have watched that movie. Okay. I, I also see that you're very smart. As a person, you have a very different outlook than general people. What have you, uh, what is your qualification? Like, what have you studied? Uh, I have completed my graduation, uh, BSc, 
uh, from Lucknow University. But you know, ma'am, it's a long journey. In two thousand one, I have completed my graduation, and it's twenty two going on. That means it's twenty two years past when I have completed my graduation. And but in last few years, I have devoted myself towards English, and I want to become a fluent English speaker. So. Uh, not only english i have learned to keep myself happy and how to lead a uh, life um, like peaceful life happy life so i have learned these things by reading so much books by watching so much videos on youtube so these things are <laughs> going on this is very impressive you also speak nicely you have a very confident voice modulation i can i can understand so if if you are wow. speaking something right i can understand the tone differences that is great quality wow. to have people generally don't have tonal variations um i'm glad that you have okay. this tonal variation this is very nice quality to have it's a great sign of a good speaker hmm where did you develop this from how is it innate or have you learned this as i can say ma'am uh, life teaches you many lessons and it teaches you uh, to change yourself <laughs> so i can say it's a life experience ma'am oh can you share some experience w- which kind of life experiences are you talking about do you recall something yeah uh, uh, what things motivates me to learn english and like see whenever i um, have to go to uh, visit like parents teacher meet uh, and then i uh, i was unable to speak in english uh, so that time i feel embarrassed and uh, whenever someone uh, in family um, started speaking good english then i started thinking like uh, i uh, uh, i can't be able to speak like that uh, so i need to improve myself and uh, not only uh, for uh, like uh, in uh, what can i say learning so first english has a potential to change your life like english is such a language it gives you if, uh, if you learn uh, good english then i have a faith that it it has a capability to change your life it can be um, it can make you economically independent so english is not just a language nowadays it's a skill it differentiates you with other people if you speak a good english and, and it it, 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 it boosts your confidence as well so and that things motivates me to learn english and in this way i started changing myself um, so this is how i i started changing myself okay and how, did you learn, where did you learn english grammar from just by watching youtube reading some books uh, of my daughters uh, and till now whatever i am just because of youtube i can say and uh, some books ah, that is great i can't believe even my mother she keeps watching youtube english videos where they talk about verbs how to frame sentences conditionals would should how to use. and i just keep asking that ma why do you keep doing this why do you keep doing it it's her own interest to learn more and more and more i think you also have a similar interest right you also want to learn more and more and more right um yes. are you a yes. professional by any chance uh, like i still i am working as a hindi translator means i translate english documents into hindi Uh, so i have a good typing skill i can type both hindi and english at a good speed you can type hindi yes yes so i can type hindi how do you remember the keys so do the keyboard have those keys or do you now just remember uh, hmm. no no ma'am uh, there is a setting uh, in, uh, in computer you have to go language uh, there are lots of uh, settings in uh, so in which you have to go language and set your computer uh, so that you can uh, type both the language and uh, same as english i have to learn like uh, which key uh, board is for a which key uh, which key for b so in the same way in hindi we have to learn uh, which uh, uh, from which we can type k kh g g all the um, alphabets are there for hindi as well okay okay 
that is great quality to have um i must appreciate i am very happy to meet you it was a great conversation we have 8 minutes left and i would like you to give some feedback is it okay okay um, yeah yeah wonderful i i love my feedback so that's yeah please man okay thank you so first thing first i i feel like that you want to speak a lot in a short span of time okay at a very okay. base level i have this i have this vibe or the idea that you want to relay a lot of information in a very short span of time you have so much to speak so much to express but the time is less right and that subconscious activity increases your pace you speak faster okay right we can okay. definitely tone the pace down i'm not saying that your pace is wrong or incorrect by any chance but until we speak correct english i would suggest you to lower the pace speak speak lesser okay. amounts of words that is absolutely all right as long as you speak correctly right okay. once we, once we start speaking correctly you can come back to your original pace that great pace by the way what you have right now is a great great pace it shows great confidence that you have but there are still some minor grammatical errors that you are yeah. making because of that we should be lowering down the pace so that you can put more conscious you can speak more consciously if you okay. speak consciously you automatically your pace will go down okay right so mm-hmm. this is first second i feel you use a lot of fillers okay i feel like you think about the content that you want to speak right yes, yes, it is yes, not yes. a vocab issue it is the content issue your vocabulary is good you know the words you very well know the words it is about the content that i want to say this and this and this and then i was born and brought up in new york and then i completed my graduation from here so that kind of content i'm saying whatever you want to speak you're thinking about that while speaking right because of that while yeah because of that the flow gets broken right and you use a filler a a a in between right mm-hmm. i will suggest you to frame the entire content once decide what you want to speak one okay decide what you want to speak at that point of time and speak it at one go don't take so many pauses because you are already making good basic sentences right basic sentences don't require fillers right you already have a great pace just think about the content i want to speak about my graduation i want to speak about my son's parent teacher meeting i want to speak about why i wanted to get better at english and this and that frame two three sentences in your mind and then speak that will help you remove those fillers because fillers distract our attention fillers right our attention from the information is distracted so then we think about okay she is saying a lot of uh, and we are focusing less on the information that you are relaying us relaying to us right that is why we yes. we say that to get rid of the fillers so this is the two these are two unconscious filler. things that need to work yes filler these are the two unconscious filler. things yes these are the two unconscious things we need to get rid of first is the fast pace second is the fast. fillers fillers oh yes um there is there are some grammatical errors for example you said whatever i am but for people yes. we use whoever whoever okay right and there's another thing that things things is plural so we should be using those things those things right yes these are minor grammatical yes. issues you also said uh, during during while you were explaining right the parent teacher meeting you said that that time i feel embarrassed right 
Embarrassed is ed past tense, but then why did you use feel and not felt? Yeah. Right. We were yeah. using past. We are talking about something that happened in the past. So we should be using past form of the verb. Past form. Right. Now yeah. I now I will. So there is one more sentence you said. English has a potential. Potential. Shweta is un uncountable noun. So we should not English be using an article. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Okay. Right. Potential is uncountable. So we don't need to use article before it. Before it. Okay. Right. A potential means one potential. Do you ever say one potential? No. Right. We don't say. No. 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 So that is why. So I understand that you have the grammatical thought process. You know the rules. The problem is with the flow. In flow, you forget these rules, right? You make unconscious mistakes. These are very basic mistakes that we can cover only with the. Uh, if you reduce your pace, we can cover it very nicely. Okay. Right. So we will practice speaking correctly, consciously. Consciously. Okay. Are you able no. to get me? Yeah, how deeply you observe me? <laughs> I wonder. In only fifteen minutes, uh, how deeply you observe me and give a good feedback. Really, I accept all my feedback.